Welcome back to another episode of 30 Days to Duke. Today we're going to be visiting the Mary Lou Williams Center for Black Culture. You know, some people think it's hard to find, but follow us, we'll take you right over. <laughs> Welcome to the Mary Lou. Looks like a really fun place to be. So we're here with Ashley, Ashley, and Armani. Um, so guys, I wanted to know, what's your favorite thing about coming to the Mary Lou Williams Center? I think my favorite thing about the Mary Lou Williams Center is just the atmosphere in here. I feel like, you know, if I want to pick me up, or if I want to have fun, or if I want to just have, you know, a good conversation, I know I can get it when I come in here. My favorite thing about the Mary Lou Williams Center uh, is how welcoming it is. It's just a great space for me to talk with my friends, also sometimes get some work done. I always know that when I walk into the Lou, like at least one of my friends is going to be here. And so it's just like a time to just reconvene and just relax between class time. My favorite thing about the center is definitely the types of people that come here. We have a, a wide variety of people that come in here um, and the conversations we can have just exploring uh, personal issues, external issues, all sorts of things we talk about in the center. How often do you guys frequent here? Every day. <laughs> Every day. Hildana, you're a staff specialist here at the Mary Lou. What does a staff specialist do? I do programming here, also student engagement, um, campus partnerships, and also bringing programming to our students that's really relevant to kind of what they're looking for. There's often jazz at the Mary Lou. We um, Today, especially we're having a hair event today that they're hosting. It's a natural hair event for both men and women, so barbers will be there and local derm stylists will be there. Ten Wednesdays a semester from 9 p.m. To midnight we have a John Brown jazz band he comes and they play and then you're able to kind of play with them um, and we pair with jazz at Duke to kind of do that. Do you know the history of the Mary Lou Williams Center? Yes, yeah, so Duke itself as a school was integrated first in 1963 but the black students on campus didn't feel like they had a safe space to, to collect and just explore their blackness so five years later in 1968 the Mary Lou Williams Center was created and it's named after jazz pianist Mary Lou Williams uh, who was also a faculty at Duke University. Can you walk me through what's on this wall right like behind us? Yes so this is kind of our homage to history so first we have this big image of Julian Abel who is the black architect who designed Duke Chapel and also a lot of West Campus and so we want our students to remember him and kind of his contribution and then we have Samuel Du Bois Cook and Ray Gavin. So Ray Gavin is the longest serving black faculty here at Duke and Samuel Du Bois Cook was actually the first black faculty member to be at an institution in the south. And then we also have this bird here which is the Sankofa bird uh, which is a principle that we kind of live by here at the Lou and Sankofa is a term that means fetch back and get it. Making sure our students remember history and it's important to remember where we came from so that we see where we're going. Do you have any advice for first year students? First year students, explore yourself. Explore the opportunities on campus challenge yourself. Try everything. Don't come in thinking you're going to do one thing and only stick to that. Anything that you have about yourself, your character, definitely explore it. Why do you think this way? Why do you behave this way? Explore all facets of your character. Take classes you've never tried. Talk to professors. Talk to students. Engage in topics you don't know or uncomfortable with. Um, and I think that's the best way to grow and kind of take advantage of this place. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. Wow. This is a great place. There's so many people and smiling faces, but what if I just need a break from it all? You know what? I have just the place. Follow me. Oh, wow. This is perfect. Yeah, so this is just like a nice quiet space where you could come and relax, maybe study if you want to get away from all the loudness over there. Well, that concludes another episode of 30 Days to Duke. Hope to see you next time. <laughs>